When the cat's away, the mice will play. Michael McLean, badassmillionaire.com. The toughest advice for the toughest businessmen. Horsepower, not horse shit. I have a story for you this morning that you are going to absolutely love. And it's a story that I told to my world builders a couple of months ago during their eight week training. And it just gets better every day. As harsh as it may sound, the accurate thinking reality is a lot of businessmen, a lot of entrepreneurs, deserve to starve. Well, Michael, that's very harsh. Well, accurate thinking is harsh reality. Most, a lot of businessmen and a lot of companies and a lot of entrepreneurs in 2020, 2022, sorry, deserve to starve. Let me give you a couple, a handful of real world examples. So, I have been a subscriber of Dan Kennedy's No BS newsletter for almost three decades. Think about that. They have been charging my card for almost, well, over 25 years. I think it's 28 or 29 years. Who cares? So every month for 29 years, I have subscribed to the Dan Kennedy No BS. When I started marketing and learning way back in 1994, 95, Dan was starting up his newsletter. I was hooked instantly on his books and his newsletter. And it was like 35 bucks a month or whatever for 29 years. They've been charging my card. I've attended seminars, super conferences, I was part of Dan's and Bill Glazier's $30,000 mastermind for two years. That's $60,000 right there. I bought Dan's Lifetime Works collection, which is all of his stuff, all of his, everything he's ever created. So I'm one of those top 1% customers. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars with that company and admittedly, my relationship with Dan, which is now personal, uh, we've been friends for a decade, has made me literally millions of dollars. So I'm a happy guy. You know, one of the true blessings in my life was discovering Dan. Uh, another blessing in my life was discovering Bill Glazier. So I'm a happy, happy customer. I, the hundred thousands, the, 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 I probably have spent 500,000 with Dan, Bill, that whole magnetic marketing, no BS thing. And my return on investment has been 10X, 25X, I'm just guessing. But I have made millions of dollars in multiple industries because of Dan Kennedy's teaching in his newsletter, his seminars, his masterminds, and the same for Bill at a lesser level. So I'm a happy guy. That's been an amazing 10X investment for me, 25X investment. So uh, when Russell Brunson takes over the company a year ago, all of a sudden, you know, this is good news because Russell, he knows what he's doing. He's the ClickFunnels guy. Um, the mess, you know, Dan, that company was sold five different times, if I'm correct, in the last, I don't know, decade since Dan sold it and Bill, actually Bill sold it. So it's been a mess, and I know a lot of people, maybe you have missed it as well. The newsletter, everything went everything went stale. Everything went the opposite way of direct response. And I know Dan wasn't pleased, and I know Bill Glazier wasn't pleased. And But these, you know, it was sold four or five times to these large corporations. And of course, they fucked it up. They screwed the whole thing up. They alienated their, their subscriber list at one time. They had 30,000 paid subscribers to their newsletter. Think about that, 30,000 subscribers. And I was told by a reliable source that up, up to a year ago or two years ago when Russell bought the company, it was under 2,000. 
So these big corporate people that had bought it, resold it, bought it, they literally destroyed the company from 30,000 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers. And don't worry, Russell will rebuild that. He'll 5X that, he'll 10X that, he'll 25X that. He has the knowledge, he has the list, he has the ability, and he has the motivation. But Broken Windows, a broken window, one of the best books I've ever uh, read. It's one that I've always gifted my private clients. Uh, there's a book called Broken Windows. And it's essentially the story of what Mayor Giuliani did in way back in the day in New York City to clean up what was, you know, a violent, filthy, unsafe city at the time, the way it is now. And Mayor Giuliani actually used what he called broken wi windows theory, where instead of going after all the big crime and going after all of the, you know, the big stuff, the gangs and the mur all this stuff, he started, he turned the city around by doing the exact opposite. He took a badass, uh, a badass approach and he started enforcing things, little things, tiny things, like somebody, you know, putting gum on the street or somebody spitting on the, on the sidewalk or vandalism or somebody, you know, graffiti or somebody smashing a window. And he had his police officers enforce this stuff to the limit. In other words, he started enforcing the small stuff. And his belief was if they cleaned up the city and enforced, enforced the small stuff, that that would reduce all the bigger stuff. And candidly, the guy was right. The New York City turned into a city that you could walk on the streets in Times Square at, you know, 24 hours a day. It was safe, it was clean. Money was pouring into New York. Tourism was flourishing. The whole deal under, under Giuliani's leadership by attacking, come on buddy, come by focusing on the small, he also greatly reduced the large or the big crime as well. And they saw an amazing reduction in, uh, in all of it. And it cleaned up the city, people felt safe, money flows, come on buddy. Money always flows to where it's appreciated and respected. So money flowed into the, to the city of New York. And I remember Chris and I going there and staying at Trump Tower. This is 15 years ago and walking in Central Park and going to one of the uh, last baseball games at the old Yankee Stadium. And uh, it was just a phenomenal city. And uh, that was because they fixed the broken windows. They fixed the little things first. So about a year ago, I wasn't getting my newsletter, my Dan Kennedy, newsletter anymore dan doesn't have anything to do with this stuff by the way he's a paid he's a paid uh russell pays him to write write part of the newsletter be interviewed he's a paid highly paid consultant he's still the he's still uh you know the man that stirs the drink but he doesn't have any of the headaches of ownership that's all on brunson's shoulders so about a year ago i said to my assistant mark andre i said where is my newsletter? Where is my uh, magnetic marketing, no BS, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Where's my newsletter? Every month for 29 years, I've been getting this newsletter and I'm very, very thorough that way. I know when I'm not getting something in the mail because I look forward to these things. I tear them apart, I highlight them, I study them, I make notes, I share the ideas with you in these videos. So I was like, Mark, where is this? So Mark looks into it. And Russell is the new owner of the company, right? So Mark comes back to me, he goes, Michael, your subscription has been canceled. And I was like, my what? And he said, your subscription has been canceled. And I said, well, was there a problem with the card? No. Was there a problem? Like, was what was the problem? And he says, it was an oversight. It just got canceled. It just got canceled with the with the new ownership, with Russell buying the company. And from 
what's his face, doesn't matter. And uh, you were canceled. So 29 year subscription. I've spent $500,000 with that company as a client and as a student. And all of a sudden my subscription was canceled. Okay, if I didn't notice, if I didn't have Mark Andre do the work, well, there's a, there's a client who's, you know, spent half a million dollars, who pays his bills, who's, you know, there every month after month for 28, 29 years, and I was canceled. It was a computer error, they said. So I'm sure Russell doesn't know about these types of things. I mean, I'm sure that when the mice are, when, when the cat's away, the mice will play. And that's exactly what happened in that situation. This is why I check constantly with Leanne and constantly with Mark, any, uh, any subscription issues, any, uh, you gotta be on this stuff because you're the cat. You're the CEO, you're the founder, you're the leader. And I found in 31 years of business, if one thing's true, it's when the cat's away, the mice will play. So I'm pretty sure that person who found out that my 29 year subscription was canceled for no reason, they didn't give a shit. They're like, okay, we'll reinstate it. It was just more work for them. So I fell through the cracks through no fault of my own. And uh, that's how businesses, great businesses go from iconic to invisible. That's how American, great American companies that were once thought of as invincible, you know, all of a sudden are not. The blockbusters of the world or the, the great companies, you know, that were iconic and all of a sudden through the years, not so iconic anymore. One customer at a time. Here's another great one too. So, you know, I love Tim Grover's books. I love Tim Grover. He's Michael Jordan's former strength and conditioning coach. He's, I think he's working with Russell Wilson now. He's, he was Kobe's strength and conditioning coach, all that stuff. Love his books, Relentless, and love his book, Winning. I, uh, I've met Tim on a couple occasions. I like the guy personally. And uh, what can I say? I recommend his books and I don't recommend hardly anything. So he passes my real world test. So I reach out, I go to his website and I request for him to attend, uh, to speak at a, or, you know, present at a webinar. So it's like a 60 minute webinar to my world builders. This is for two months ago. So I, I fill out their form on their website and it's under, you know, get Tim to speak. And his, his assistant said, you know, fill out the form um, if you want to hire Tim to do a webinar. And it was getting to the end of the pandemic and stuff. So he's used to doing this stuff. So he charges $2,500 for an hour, which is pretty good. I mean, that's, that's what I charge. And he'll get on this webinar. And I thought, man, this is going to be really cool for my world builders. So out of the eight week course, I would do a couple webinars a week. So I said to Krista, I, my wife Krista, I said, how cool would this be? I'll have Grover come in and do a 60 minute, I'll interview him and he'll talk about his new book and it would just be a cool thing for my guys. I love doing surprises like that. Well, here's the thing. I couldn't spend that money. I could not spend that money. To this day, I put in a second request I filled out that electronic form for the second time. So I followed up. I didn't need to follow up. I'm the, I'm the pr prospect trying to spend that money. Couldn't do it. Deserve to starve, broken window. To this day, three, four months later, crickets from the Tim Grover team. That's $2,500 for him to sit in a chair for 60 minutes at home, doesn't have to travel. He would do it for sure. I know what he's like. And that never got to him. That message never got to him. Are you kidding me? Broken window. So that's just one little thing, you know, one, it's just me um, trying to hire him to do a webinar and total broken window. Uh, but hey, whose fault is that? That's Tim Grover's fault. He's the CEO. Whose fault is my newsletter? Well, that's Russell Brunson's fault because he's the man in charge. And when the cat's away and you don't have systems in place or you don't have accountability or you don't have tracking, these types of things happen. So $2,500 gone, not hired. It's no skin off my ass. I mean, I'm like, 
whatever. I'm sorry the guys didn't get to see him, but no problem whatsoever. I That money's back in my pocket. I'll spend it somewhere else. So I, uh, I'm considering uh, selling a piece of my real estate. I have a I have a medium-sized real estate portfolio, commercial properties, uh, homes, different things like that. I dabble in real estate. I love real estate, especially waterfront real estate and good commercial real estate. So there's this one property that I'm interested in selling, and it'll sell in three to five days. Uh, it's just the market that we're in. So I contact this particular real estate agent because he's a barbershop client, he spends money with me, he's an old McLean insurance client, uh, he's a family friend, he knows my parents. So basically, I'm giving this guy the first shot at it. You know, there's nothing special about him, but I'm giving him a chance to list this property. He's gonna make five points on it. He's gonna make five to two and a half points. Five points, 5% 5 if he sells it. And it's a piece of cake, he doesn't have to do anything. He just has to take a picture of the building and it sell itself. So I reach out to this guy once again. I, uh, I called and was told and told to go online. So in, in two of these cases where I wanted to spend my money, I was told on the phone, because I'm a pick up the phone guy, that I should fill out a form on their website. In other words, I should send a message to him on the website. So I was just calling to talk to the man to list the building, but no, no, that's not good enough drive me offline back onto the online swamp. So that's what happened. So I go on there and I fill out his form on his website and I put in there my message that I want to sell one of my properties and it's a very popular property that'll sell very quickly. That was three and a half weeks ago. I have never had a return message. I have never had, hang on buddy. You know, these are hard to listen to, right? Poor Clifford wants to cover his ears, these broken windows everywhere, deserve to starve. So three and a half weeks later, I've never heard back from this realtor, um, never a text, never an email, nothing, just crickets. So by the way, this is a $550,000 sale. The property that I'm thinking of selling will get 550 instantly in less than a week and he'll get five points on that so instead of making that money my message is in the metaverse somewhere never to be black hole never to be talked about again so what am i going to do i'm calling up my agent the guy i deal with personally he'll list this property in september he'll list it in in an hour and uh, he'll sell it in a week and he'll put 5% of $550,000 in his pocket for his trouble. But I gave a tomato can a chance and never even a return call. So you tell me if some businessmen, some entrepreneur, some salespeople don't deserve to starve. It's because we've been on an unprecedented 50 year run of abundance and opportunity. Like, it's not very hard to be good, and it hasn't been for 50 years. There's been some blimps, like some blips, but nothing major like real estate, a car salesman, any entrepreneur. Like it hasn't been hard to do well over the last 50 years in this economy. Like we're awash in abundance and opportunity. We're awash in printed money. We're awash in credit cards. Uh, we have serial buyers on our hands, so it's not hard. You know, making money has never, ever been simpler. And right now it's actually easy. It is actually easy. But it's interesting to see when things tighten up, and they will, things will tighten up, that you'll hear from people who say, man, it's tough out there, or, they, you know, the economy's tough, or the gas prices, or inflation, and people aren't buying, and, you know, they'll shrink their lifestyle. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, you know, you didn't return a call for a $550,000 sale. You didn't, you canceled a 29 year uh, subscription for 500K. You, uh, it just goes on and on. You turned down a $2,500 webinar, 60 minutes, because you don't have the systems in place or your website isn't working. 
And notice in all these cases, by the way, it was blamed on technology. That's a biggie. That's why I'm such a, a phone guy. If you, want to, if you want to talk to us, you just call Leanne. You just text Leanne. You just fax Leanne. You just email Leanne. But you can literally pick up the phone and call my personal assistant and she'll get back to you quickly. So when things fall through a crack, we're there to fix it. So there's no broken windows in my companies. And if there is a broken window, I fix it. I put a new system in place so it's not broken anymore. I fix broken windows. Well, that's, that's what I do. I mean, I do that better than any entrepreneur. If I see a broken window, somebody comes to me with a complaint, a legitimate complaint, I fix that broken window so it's not broken ever again. So I'll give you another one here that deserved to star broken windows. Um, this one's insanity. So I told you a couple weeks ago that I had applied successfully to be in a $100,000 mastermind. And I'm gonna be in it starting in September and I'm always in a mastermind because you shouldn't listen to any coach who isn't being coached. I mean, Zuckerberg has a coach, Buffett has a coach, Musk has a coach, Jordan has a coach, Sidney Crosby has a coach, everybody, Spielberg has a coach. So I also applied for this web, this, this other mastermind at the same time, I did this on my birthday. So I want it to be in one of these two masterminds. So the one I got into immediately, $100,000, and it's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna, I'm gonna five exit for sure. Maybe 10 exit, it's a total investment. Just the guys I'm gonna be around. Just, you know, the, the associates, the friendships I'm gonna make. So the other one I applied for is 150,000 for a year, 150K but there's some extra bells and whistles. And, you know, I didn't care which one. I applied for both. I would, I get into both, no question, no easy. I mean, this application stuff, you know, most that's horse shit anyways. So if you write a check for 150K, you're getting in. So I fill out this online application and I called them and I said, you know, how do I apply? And they're like, oh, fill out the online application, Michael, and we'll get back to you in 24 to 72 hours. I'm like, okay. Okay, so on my birthday, I'm sitting by the fireplace, I take 15 minutes of my finite time and I fill out this application for a $150,000 mastermind. It's the seven questions, it's the, you know, what are you gonna bring to the group, all this dog shit. And most importantly, will your credit card pass? So I fill it out and I send it and I make sure that it's sent, okay? So I wait, two days later, I get a positive response that I have been accepted into the $100,000 marketing mastermind. So that's a separate company, so I'm happy. But before I accept that one, I wait for a couple days, a few days, a week, to hear from the other one, because I wanna have choices. And I'm probably leaning towards the $150,000 one, different company, maybe a you know different experience. So here's the thing. My birthday was on June 11th, uh, so it's what, July something now, middle of July we're heading to, and I have never heard a word from the $150,000 mastermind. Not a word, not an email, not a text, not a phone call, not a fax, not a go fuck yourself, nothing. I was ready to cut a check for $150,000 American, boom, on the table. Let me in. I'll use this as an investment and I'll get this money back in a month. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't able to spend that money. Just like the $2,500 for Grover, my money ran out of there. Just like my monthly, my monthly uh, subscription to the No BS letter, my money was told it wasn't welcome. And just like my real estate guy, my tomato can there, uh, you know, he's like $550,000 listing, my money, I couldn't spend it. I couldn't give that money away, that commission. And here we are, $150,000 mastermind. They've attracted the perfect customer and client, top 1% of 1%. I can pay in cash, boom, done, and they don't get it. They don't read the application, it's in cyberspace, it's in a black hole, 
And if I call them back, which I refuse to, guess what they'd blame it on? Technology. Well, when the cat's away, the mice will play. And these are just a handful of stories that recently have happened. I, my friend Adam Saren, who's a big financial investor in New York, he's a badass millionaire. He's one of my book, read, book, book subscribers, newsletter subscribers, and we laugh when we talk. We talk once a month on the phone, and he's just like, how hard has it been to spend your money this month? And we have a good laugh about all the different, uh, when the cat is away, the mice will play stories. He tried to buy two Mercedes-Benz cars two years ago. He tried to buy two for cash. He just wanted two. He's that type of guy. He walks into a clothing store, he buys 10 shirts, 10 pair of shorts, and gets the hell out of there. Money's no issue. So he walks in, he tries to buy two Mercedes-Benz uh, from the dealership, and eventually he almost ran out of there. Well, you need to finance this, you need to do this, you need to do that. It doesn't come in this color. We don't want to order it. Maybe you'd like this red car. And he literally went screaming and yelling out of the dealership. He couldn't spend that 200K. He couldn't spend that 200K. So we share these ideas. I've tried to hire other celebrity speakers. No response. I've, uh, I've, I've dealt with pro sports teams where for my masterminds, Back in the day, I tried to, uh, um, to spend my money on private suites. As an example, at a hockey game or a basketball game or a football game, where I bring all the guys to a private suite, we watch the game, we have prime rib, we have drinks, we have the whole nine yards in the suite, and we're together. Come here, Cliffy. Come on, buddy. So that's a biggie. So in those cases, uh, same thing. Nobody got back to me. No return phone call. If you do, it's like, oh, did you not get my email? Um, that kind of thing. And you're dealing with buying those sweets again, those high. Good morning. How's it going? Good. How's the golf game? Excellent. Playing every week? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, two, three times. Always in Perth? Yeah, we're going to do a little Smith Falls exchange thing. Yeah. Next couple of weeks, so home and home with an organized thing yeah wow no. we're, we're off to uh where are we off to today my daughter's going to her first camp north of toronto oh. so uh we're gone up there four and a half hour drive oh yeah where, where is it it's up by collingwood yeah god's country yeah It'll be nice. so we got golf and we got hiking nice. and atving Ooh. so oh, yeah there's stuff up around back of the mountains there yeah. yeah they said they're just um they said they're just sold out this time of year yeah. But these camps are phenomenal. Five days. Excellent. Yeah. If you see a Clifford, tell him to come on. <laughs> see ya. Come on, Cliffy, buddy. So I remember trying to spend my money with those professional teams. And in a couple of cases, I couldn't even rent the box. I couldn't rent the suite. I couldn't. So we ended up doing something different. And, you know, even though, even at that level, those, those companies deserve to starve. They broken windows everywhere. So and you, you have more stories about this than even I do, you know, getting your car fixed or your oil changed or selling your house or whatever it is, just broken window after broken window. And that's why I teach that, you know, if there's a come to Jesus moment in our economy, you know, what some people are predicting, uh, at least a tightening, certainly a recession, we're in one right now unless you're asleep at the wheel. But if we ever dipped into a serious recession or, or even a depression, you know, like my grandparents lived through the 40s and the 30s, I mean, we're completely ill-equipped to survive. Like completely, our children, ourselves, like, I mean, 80%, 85% of entrepreneurs and businessmen would be out of business like that. They would take an instant haircut the second that their phones weren't ringing off the hook, the second the leads weren't pouring in, the second that they had to earn and deserve business, follow up, you know, do real business, they would be done. So maybe that happens, maybe it doesn't, but we've been on an unprecedented run of 50 years where everybody looks good. And before I end, I love the Warren Buffett quote. 
where <laughs> Buffett says, it takes the tide going out. It takes the tide going out to show that some people are naked. So high tide, everybody, you know, fully clothed, flush with cash, everybody winning, everybody successful, everybody this, everybody that. But like Buffett said, it takes the tide going out to see who's really naked. And I can guarantee you from my experience as a consumer trying to spend my money, trying to invest my money, that uh, there's a lot of people with no clothes swimming naked if the tide, if and when the, our tide goes out. So make sure you have in your business, just make sure the cat's never away. It's that simple. I have systems and procedures and, and catch safes and video and audio. And I just, I hold people's feet to the fire. That's the only way. Like I, I bill Belichick my businesses. I Bill Parcells my businesses. I Nick Saban my businesses. I Steve Jobs my businesses. And uh, doesn't make you popular doesn't make you loved, it just makes you very, very profitable and successful. Whatever it is in your business, make sure that the cat is never away. And when you find a broken window, uh, make sure you fix it so that it's, that never happens again. Buy that book, Broken Window, and read it, and you'll enjoy that, uh, that New York City story, which is part of that book. And uh, also, uh, on the topic of uh, the toughest advice for the toughest businessmen. I have a brand new uh, paper and ink newsletter coming out for my elite clients. It's called the Michael McLean World Building Letter. It is the toughest advice for the toughest businessmen. Every day I'm reading three to four to five hours. Each month I'm going to be sharing the ideas and discoveries in my newsletter every month. So I read for 35 hours a week as an example, study. I'll be passing on all those gold nuggets, marketing, money, marriage, raising kids, physical health, mental health, time management systems, phone scripts. I'll be passing that all on every single month to subscribers. You need to go to badassletter.com. The link is below. I'll throw in one of these black be Relentless t-shirts, which are really awesome. I'll throw in a hard copy of my old out of print uh, book, How to Not Get Your Ass Kicked in the Insurance Business. I'll give you fax and mail access to me. And I'll also, uh, I'll also uh, give you some nice discounts and you'll be allowed into our private and confidential uh, world building locker room forum. Not Facebook, not big tech. It's something that Mark Andre, my business partner, designed online where we can congregate and help each other get better. So that's it for today. If you're interested in taking your business and your life from ordinary to extraordinary and actually building a life or a world that you don't need to escape from or you don't need to vacation from, let me help you do that every month uh, by subscribing. Badass letter. Dot com. That's it. Two words that changed my life. Two words that can change your life. Be relentless.